We'll have a chat about it in a moment. There's no such thing as a product that's too expensive. No such thing as a product that's too expensive. A customer tells you your product is too expensive, you're talking to the wrong customer. You think anyone walks into Lamborghini and says, but a Toyota is less. <laughs> Lamborghini will tell you, then go to Toyota. Why are you here? True fact, I'm the most premium priced speaker in South Africa. I charge in South Africa more than any other speaker in the market. My office will also tell you price is not a negotiation I have with my clients. I never talk price, I talk value. Mm. Anytime you find yourself talking price, know that now yeah. you are not an entrepreneur anymore. Never talk price with customers, talk value. No, don't talk price, talk value. And the difference between the, the, thing, the, difference between the two is perception. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to this in a minute. I need an example. Uh, what do you do, man? Um, You're a makeup artist. This is fantastic. It's my long off the gun, long mama. What's your name? Cindy Siwek Tse. Cindy Siwek Tse. Love your hair. Do you think that would work on me? It wouldn't work. <laughs> the, your hair color on me? It would. It wouldn't. In red. In, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> in red. <laughs> so, what I was saying. <laughs> So, Cindy how much do you charge per hour? Um, I charge per face, so I'll say... <laughs> <laughs> I have never in my life <laughs> charged per face. That's really cool. How much per face? 800 per face. Ah! I love people like you. You are mm. so cool. Can we case study you for a bit? Is that okay? Yes. Right. So, Cindy Seawood charges... <laughs> 100 rand per face. Man. And it takes you 45 minutes to an hour. At the end of which we have her face. Man. Right. Now, Cindy how many customers have come to you and said, can you lower the price? Uh, quite a few. Quite a few? What do you do then? You lower the price, right? No. What do you do? I say, no, I can't. Why? Can go to else. Because that's my time, that's my skill, and that's my product. Never say no. Why? Because then you walk away from a sale. The fact that I came to you means I'm interested in buying. Mm -hmm. So what you've got to figure out, this is a great sales technique, what you've got to figure out is how to make the customer feel bad for not buying. <laughs> the minute you say no, they don't feel bad, because then they're like, she's arrogant, and they walk away. Never say no. No is a word you should try never to use in a sales process. You've got to find a way of saying no without saying no. And then you've got to find a way of saying, I'm not the problem, Mr. Customer, you are. Okay? So let's try this. Can we model this? So I'm coming to you. Hi, Cindy Siwe. Kamalamu Can you do my face, please? Yes? Yeah. Right. I have a budget of like 420. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, what? I charge no, I wasn't asking how much you charge. I said my budget is 420. Okay, I can refer you to someone else on my WhatsApp. Oh, you can refer me? Okay, cool. G give me their number. Take the number, walk away. Whatever you just said to me? No. 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 Can I play you? Yeah. Try it. Good. Good. So, um, I have a budget of 20. Of what? 420. 420 is your budget? Mm -hmm. Where are you going? To a wedding. To a wedding. You're going to a wedding? Yes. Oh wow. So there going to be like friends there? Yes. Are you married? No. You have an ex? <laughs> <laughs> watch what this is going. <laughs> just watch, just watch. Alright, so your ex might be at the wedding. What's it worth to you to make sure that your ex sees you looking the best you've ever looked? <laughs> is it? I mean, look, you want to pay me for 20, I charge 800. Uh, the difference between the two is 380 bucks. What I'm trying to work out is if making your ex feel bad is worth 380 bucks or not. Because if it is, then I'm the person you come to. But if looking any kind of way, whether you see your ex or not, is not important, then uh, I'm happy to find you somebody who can do it for 420. Mm -hmm. What did I just do? I changed the conversation from price to value. Mm. Now in her mind, the anchor is not price. The anchor is this bloody ex. <laughs> <laughs> that says. Yeah? 
All the time. Shift the anchor. Shift the anchor all the time. Yeah? Yeah. The price, price is the conversation people have absent of value. The minute someone mentions price, it means that there's no value. It means you've commoditized what you do. Never talk price. Always talk value. Does that make sense? You want to try it again? It's a cool exercise, right? Yeah.